What would bring thousands of people out at 8.30 on a Saturday morning in freezing cold temperatures? The Krispy Kreme Challenge, of course. Music blared and runners got pumped as they waited for the race to begin. Some were concerned about possible complications. It's going to be hard to peep through these little holes here. Others were just trying to stay warm in their not-so-traditional race apparel. As the signal to start neared, the excitement built. And they were off, motivated by what was waiting for them just two miles away. Dozens of volunteers were on hand to pass out the donuts and direct the crowds. And the street taxes! As the area outside the Krispy Kreme quickly filled with people gorging on donut after donut after donut. Some had strategies, but for many the strategy was just to finish, which proved to be a struggle for some who looked glazed over as they neared the end of their 2400 calorie morning meal. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. Not everybody finished all 12 donuts, but many pushed through the pain and prevailed. <laughs> and there was plenty of evidence to prove it. It looks like a donut mayhem here, as thousands of people have stuffed their faces with a dozen donuts each and are now on their way to the finish line. Crowds waited at the finish line to cheer on the runners as they completed the challenge. There you go, Chicago, finish. And the racers did finish strong, even if it was harder than before devouring a dozen donuts. Eating the donuts and then trying to run back. No. It kills you. I don't know if I'm going to do this again next year. At the Krispy Kreme Challenge 2010, I'm Bethany Tuggle, Carolina Week.